We set off for the northern region to refuel. This place is paradise compared to what's further ahead. Beyond our destination lies the closed gate to Nord Belka. Fifteen years ago, the Belkans set off seven nuclear bombs there to stave off the advancing Allied forces, entombing themselves in the frozen valleys to the north. That bit of history should have been enough of a lesson for us all. The seven Belkan cities near the gate were vaporized, and the local area is still highly radioactive. Our landing point was in the state of North Ossia, formerly a haven for Belkans, but now entrusted to Ossia. If you refer to it by that name, it's not Belkan. We'll put a scowl on his face and tell you that this is South Belkan. Higher Lark meant a lot to us. Our flight training took place here on this airfield. On the base, we were surrounded by junior cadets, eager to hear war stories. The newspaper article about us, written by that journalist Jeanette, made it here faster than we did. Somewhere along the line, we had become the most experienced pilots in the entire world. directed to take these inexperienced pilots back with us to Sand Island when we return. Man, we better thank Pops for this. Like that. Because he's the guy who pounded basic fighter maneuvers into us. Now we can lord it over all these guys. You said it. These pilots had only a tenuous grasp of flying, much less mid-air refueling, so we had to land at every base along the way. I can't believe we have to send them off to guard the western coastline. An SSTO craft launch facility lies to the east of our current location, McNeely Air Force Base. The facility was a collaborative project between Osea and Yuktabani. It was built to be a bridge to outer space, with a mass driver 7.5 miles in length. Our radar has detected several planes from a Yuktabanian squadron approaching the facility from several directions. The facility is currently conducting pre-launch operations for an SSTO craft. The base commander will provide you with further orders. This is the commander of McNeely Air Force Base. All units, including those refueling at this base, are now under my command. Engage the incoming enemy. All untrained pilots are barred from taking off. Those guys are still kids. Ten minutes to launch. Commencing countdown. I remember this space center well. The mass driver was built by Osea and Yuktabania as part of their collaborative efforts to construct an international space station. Our anti-war president used the surplus funds that came from cutting the defense budget to build it. Is that the Arkbird? The Arkbird. A white bird built as the first step toward the realization of the space station project. Now it's left its orbit and is just low enough to graze the atmosphere. It's coming down to pick up the laser cannon they're about to launch. They were building a bridge of peace that would span into outer space. Not anymore. The machinery meant for this peaceful mission was about to be used for our counterattack. Hey, listen. Yes? Isn't that thing supposed to work like a satellite? Why did it climb down all this way? It's a maneuverable orbiting spacecraft. I know that. I'm just saying, if the system uses atmospheric friction to change its orbit, then wouldn't that make it pretty hard to defend itself? Hmm. I guess it'd be in trouble if someone started firing at it right now. Yeah. So shouldn't it be higher up then? Continue countdown. Three minutes to launch. Hold the countdown. Enemy incoming. This is the Base Air Defense Command. 
The enemy has a large formation of transport planes escorted by a squadron of fighters. They're conducting an air assault to capture this base. What? They're actually planning to invade Osea? If we shoot the parachutes before the tanks detach, we'll smash them into the ground. You with me? I guess we don't have any other choice. I can't believe that's our strategy. Airborne tanks are dropping from the transport plane! Can you count all those parachutes? I gave up already! Destroy all airborne ACVs. Engage them in the air and on ground. The ACVs are moving this way. Don't let them get near the mass driver. He's right. It'd be crazy to try to launch in the middle of all that enemy fire. We're getting requests from every team to restart the launch. The captain shot one down. They're targeting us. Go on, get out of here. We can handle this. Rest of you, get out of here now. Caution. Pull up. It's all over if the tanks break through. Blaze, do you think our forces are sufficient? I'd like to think so too. But they even need to call us out, you know. This is the Northeast Sector Defense Force. The enemy has broken through pillbox one. I'll try one more time to convince the higher-ups to launch. Fox 2! Fox 2! The tanks are getting close! I can see them from here! Fox 2! Shut down! Shut down! Direct hit! Damage report! Communications! 
I want you to ensure all comm lines stay open. We've got it covered, sir. Three modes of communication. Wired, wireless, and runners. I can't shoot them all down! You'll do fine. Stay calm and you won't miss. Control, your job is done. Evacuate the area immediately. We can't have any mistakes here. We're staying. Four minutes to launch. Hold them off till then. Four minutes? We won't last that long. Blaze, do you know why the Ark Road was built? Well, it sure wasn't built for missions like this. Take the wound into Warehouse 4! Missile trajectory is detected! Moving to intercept! My plane can't keep up with them! The catapult camera just shut off! Was the SSTO hit? The camera just malfunctioned! Guidance team reporting! Our launch window will close in a few minutes! Have faith in our fighter pilots! Don't rush your final checks! Facility safe? I can't tell from here. It was damaged? It's just a little while more until the launch. Hang on. Three minutes! Three minutes to go! We'll be safe here. Calm down. Fire an H block!
SSTO status report. Everything's clear. All systems are go. Yeah, I'm seeing it now. It's a beautiful sight. This is great. Observation room reporting. The SSTO is climbing smoothly. Congratulations. <laughs> The white bird rose up once again, laser cannon in its wings. It was a moving sight. In my heart, though, I wished it didn't have to be used in war. None of them found out why the enemy targeted the base until much later. Of course, by that time, it was too late. We prevented the Yuktobanian army from capturing the launch facility. The SSTO launch was successful. The SSTO docked with the Arkbird, which had descended into the upper atmosphere, and successfully transferred a laser weapon module over to the craft. All aircraft with the 108th Tactical Fighter Squadron and the Sand Island Detachment returned to base as soon as rearming and refueling operations are complete. <laughs> 